In this video I will demonstrate how to use the DGMS DC power supply. How do you turn it on? Well, simply press the switch that says power. As you can see, you have a slave power supply, a master power supply, and a 5 volt fixed power supply that can provide a maximum output current of 3 amps. You also have these knobs that you can adjust to you can change the voltage. In increase it by turning it to the right, decreasing it by turning it to the left. This is a current limiting knob, so turn it to the right to increase the current limit, to the left to decrease it, and the same is true for these. In its current configuration, you each power supply is set up to be working independently, and this power supply will always provide 5 volts with a fixed output with a maximum output current of 3 amps. Also you've got these switches which you can use to switch between the current display and the voltmeter display. Same as for this, the current meter display, voltmeter display. So the first thing I want to show you is that in this independent configuration each power supply is working separately. So you can adjust the voltages for each power supply separately. So you can for example have one circuit working on this voltage and one circuit working on this voltage. Also in this configuration you can set it up as a bipolar power supply which I will now demonstrate. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set the voltage that you require. So for example if I use 10 volts these controls are slightly sensitive so I may not get the exact number but I'll still prove theory. So what you need to do to get your positive voltage rail you connect it to the positive of the master power supply which is here. To get your negative voltage rail you need to connect it to the negative of the slave power supply like so. And then to get your zero volt reference you need to connect it the green wire to the positive of the slave power supply and to the negative of the master power supply and if I show you using this multimeter and if you press VDC I can now show you I should have those voltages so if I connect the probe here and the red probe here I should get positive 10 volts essentially I do and if I connect the probe here I should get negative 10 volts and I do and that is how you set up a bipolar power supply in this in the both power supplies being an independent configuration next I will show you how to put it into the series configuration so to put it in the series configuration you simply press the switch and what has essentially happened is that these two points are now internally connected so in this mode you can treat this as having double the voltage capability but still have the same current capability which I'll now demonstrate so if I connect the probe here and the probe here you should see I get 20 volts so you can see I get approximately 20 volts Also in this configuration you can use it as a bipolar power supply. So to do that, like before, you connect your red probe here to the positive of the master power supply. You connect the black probe, uh, black cable, sorry, to the negative of the slave power supply. And then you can select between the positive of the slave power supply or the negative of the master to be your zero volt reference. Since they are both internally connected, they are exactly the same. And if I show you using the multimeter, you have 10 volts there, and negative 10 volts there. And also to note that if you put this power supply into series or parallel con configuration, these two con uh, this control does not uh, control the voltage here anymore. 
the master power supply takes control of both power supplies. And that is how you use it in series configuration. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to put in parallel configuration, which you simply do by pressing both these switches. So what you now what you have now done is that you've put both power supplies in parallel. Therefore, both of these voltages need to be the same. So when I turn this, you can see that they both show the same value. So what you've now done is that you've got the same voltage capability but you've doubled your current sourcing capability so you can connect your power leads to either of these terminals or these terminals and you should be able to have doubled the current capability the final thing I want to show you is that if your circuit requires 5 volts and does not require more than 3 amps then I would recommend using this these two terminals when working on uh, lab experiments and also do not leave wires loosely connected like like this as they may touch when you create a short circuit the reason I kept that is the reason why I kept the cables plugged like this because I could easily demonstrate that this is where the red cable goes and where this is where the black cable goes without having the danger of creating a short circuit Anyway, that is uh, it for this power supply. Thank you.